In today's HealthCast, how a father's sudden death saved his son's life. Local 10's medical specialist Christy Kruger spent time with his South Florida family who hopes that their story will be a lifesaver for others. 14-year-old Trent Blanton loves shooting hoops. But unlike his friend Cody, Trent can never try out for his high school basketball team. The ninth grader has something called Marfan syndrome and has to protect his heart. That means no competitive or strenuous physical activity. Marfan can affect the heart and blood vessels, as well as the bones, joints, and eyes. The common denominator is that the connective tissue, it's, it's a collagen disorder that is genetic. Trent was born with Marfan syndrome and has many of the common physical characteristics of the condition. The fingers, the flat feet, just like tallness, skinniness, uh, and the roof of your mouth, it's like taller and higher. Yeah, that's big Trent, little Trent. Despite the physical signs, Trent might not have gotten the potentially life-saving diagnosis had it not been for a tragic turn of events. Trent's mother and grandfather showed me pictures of Trent Sr., the loving, active father who died suddenly 10 years ago. His aortic valve was dangerously enlarged, the result of undiagnosed Marfan syndrome. It was so sad to know that it could have been prevented. If someone had saw it, if someone had saw the signs, he would still be with us today. If you know about Marfan's and you screen for these disorders, uh, screen for abnormalities in the aorta, you can catch um, aneurysms, meaning weaknesses in the aorta prior to a life-threatening problem known as a dissection or rip. Today, Trent is being closely monitored and takes medication to control some of the effects of Marfan syndrome. He wants to be a sportscaster one day and hopes his story will be a game changer for other families. My dad, he passed when he was older. He had a little kid, my mom. They left him alone and everything. So we don't want that to happen to another family. A great family. Now, knowing the signs of Marfan syndrome can really save lives, and it's estimated that nearly half of the people who have this condition don't even know it. And that's why Local 10 is teaming up with the Marfan Foundation to get the word out. So join us, won't you, this Sunday for the Walk for Victory. It takes place at T.Y. Park in Hollywood at noon. Again, that's on Sunday. And for more information, head on over to Local10.com. We have information about that walk right there on our website.